Welcome to the South Sound Tour here at Paradise Lanes in Tacoma. We have a real treat of a match for you today. It's going to be the over division championship match between Cameron Weir and Dean Richards, two of the very best in the Pacific Northwest. We have the Kegel Turnpike out. It's a 41 foot sport pattern, very flat in the back third of this uh, pattern. Cameron Weir makes a great first shot there with his Brunswick Vapor Zone around sixth arrow. Dean Richards up now on the right lane in front of the ball return. Pretty big yank there, but he gets away with it. He's been sitting for a little while, though. We'll, we'll give him that one. Uh, strike nonetheless. Now, these guys go way back. They were two of the big studs back in the junior ranks back in the late 2000s. Kind of a friendly uh, rivalry going on between them. Much better shot by Dean there in the second. Piers it. All right, Cameron now up on the right lane, also in front of the ball return. Both guys playing very similar lines. And, boy, that was a huge pull there. Does not get a break, leaving the 5'10". Now it's uh, very early in the match. Let's see if he goes for this instead of getting the count. And he certainly went for it. Oh, misses both pins. Uh, loses a pin, a couple pins there. It gives him 26 through 2. Let's see if he can rebound here in the third. Makes a much better shot there. Back in the pocket leaves a half 10. Routine spare for Cameron. Uh, both of these guys have been bowling very well of late. Uh, both made the cut of the Seattle Masters. Uh, Cameron finished fifth in the stepladder, and Dean just missed. So they've uh, both been bowling well, both PBA regional title winners as well. Dean with another big miss left there, leaving just the five pin. Uh, fortunate not to leave the ten with it like Cameron did. Routine spare for him. Uh, both guys going with kind of middle of the road equipment here as far as hook potential. Uh, Dean's throwing a high road pearl. Um, and uh, Cameron, as we started going with that vintage vapor zone by Brunswick. And Dean kind of missed that one at the bottom. Might have missed his target right a little bit. Leaves the 1 2 4 10 washout. There were a lot of these left during qualifying uh, by a lot of good bowlers. So this was a tough pattern. Played very slick down lane. Dean only gets eight out there. Uh, so Cameron now has the lead. Let's see how he does here uh, on the right lane. Much better shot. We're going to cut over to the under division title match between Corinne Lieber and Carl Nichols real quick. Lieber at the 4-9, kicks it across, great shot. She dominated the field here uh, in the under division for qualifying, leading by a large margin. Let's see if she can take it home. And now Cameron Weir trying to take care of his own business on the left lane. Oh, really good shot, leaves a stone 9. Oh boy, that hurt. Hard, it's hard enough to hit the pocket, but uh, when you leave those kind of taps, it's uh, pretty tough. Good sportsmanship there by Dean. Okay, now Dean uh, has pulled the ball twice on the right lane pretty badly. Let's see if we can uh, trust one to the right here. Well, he did, but the ball goes a little long. Laboring uh, leaves the two pin only. Good break there. Harden straight out the two and has it. Okay, well, let's see. It's a low-scoring match, but it's close. Uh, Dean Richards has a seven-pin lead here halfway through going into the sixth frame. Uh, Dean is coming off a 269 game in the semifinal, uh, defeating Brian Monette, who shot a very good 234 game, but it wasn't quite enough. Obviously, Dean's look uh, went away, so he's just going to try to grind it out here. Washed out last time on the left lane, see how he executes. Much better, good touch on that one, and gets the 10 to cave in. Beautiful shot by Dean. Okay, Cameron, right lane. Can he respond? A little loft on that one. Oh, ball sets up perfect. Ball can't hook if it's in the air, so that was a very nice adjustment by Cameron. See if he can duplicate on the left lane, and he does. 10 straight back. Big double there for Cameron. With that strike, Weir just took the lead by three, and Dean working on strike on the right lane can take the lead back. And that's left, going high, gets the split out, leaves the 6'10 only. Uh, the surface here, Paradise, is very high friction AMF surface. Uh, not a lot of hold in the mids, so got to really make some good shots here. And Dean perfect on the spare. As you can see, through seven frames, uh, we're working on a double, has a very slim three pin lead. Okay, Dean, big shot here in the eighth. And, oh no! Same kind of ball reaction goes through the face, leaving the 4-6-7 this time. Disastrous open, and uh, the door wide open now for Cameron. Okay, Cameron up in his eighth frame. He's thrown the ball really well this game, except for that one shot that he pulled. And that was another quality shot, leaving a half 10. That is okay. And, uh-oh, ooh, cutting a little closer on the 10 pin, but he has it. Okay, we are in the ninth frame to put all the pressure back on Dean. 
real aggressive at the bottom of the swing there. Oh, there's another kind of half 10. Real good shot, and he spares it up. So here's the situation. Dean up in the ninth now can strike out for 199. Weir has 204 max, so very important that he sets up the 10th here. And quality shot by Dean Richards when he needs it most. Okay, shot of the tournament coming up for Dean Richards. Uh, if he does not strike here, Cameron will just need count in the 10th frame. Can he pry one off? He was a little loft. Oh, just a fraction high. He really wanted that one, leaves the four pin. So Dean spared his four pin. This is his fill shot for 179. And oh, wow, leaves a stone seven. So 178 for Dean Richards. Looking at the scoreboard here, Cameron needs eight pins to seal the deal. Uh, that eight pins will give him uh, 180, and that'll be enough. So, one more quality shot here, and Weir will have the title. A little loft, looks real good. Beautiful, 10 straight back. Cameron Weir, congratulations over division champ. Here in the under division, we have Carl Nichols shooting for the title. He needs a double in the 10th to shut out Corrine. First one, absolutely perfect 10 in the pit. And looking at the score, uh, Corrine's max is 203, so Carl, one more, we'll put him in the two teens. Good shot. Mixes him up with that gold jackal. And Carl Nichols, congratulations on your under division title. I know he's been struggling lately, so this must feel really good. I know he's worked hard on his game. Congratulations, Carl and Cameron, on your title. Let's, uh, Cameron, we're finishing out the 10th frame, uh, leaving the two pin. With the spare hit, it'll be 194. Not nearly the high scoring affair we saw in the semifinals, but uh, enough to win. And Cameron with the uh, double thumbs up there. Uh, these guys uh, known each other a long time. Uh, good friends, of course. And 194-178 uh, is the final. Let's head down to Randy DeBolt with the uh, presentation. And your 210 and up tournament champion for $600, Cameron Ware. Congratulations. Hope you all enjoyed the coverage today. Uh, thanks to Randy DeBold and his team for running the South Sound Tour events. Uh, doing a great job as always and also Storm for sponsoring the tour, giving us some added money to play for. Uh, next tournament's going to be at Riverside Lanes in Mount Vernon, the River of Oil Challenge. Uh, hope to see you there.